Hi everyone, this is Dale Pinker with ForexStopHunters.com. want to welcome everyone watching this video. Hope they've been edifying as far as your trading in the FX markets. want to remind everyone only risk capital should be used when trading FX or other high risk, highly leveraged markets. That means money you can afford to lose. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Let's start off with the hourly chart of USD CAD. We have a little bit of divergence happening at this high. Although the dollar had a strong day, I still believe that there may be some buying opportunities that can come into play here. Looking towards the uh, 99, 98, 90 level over the next several days. We have a very nice week going to the upside. Not quite as strong as the other risk aversion pairs, US dollar Swiss, US dollar yen, as you'll see in a minute but I still believe there's an important low developing here. Uh, Euro, USD last night, late US session got up to what we talked about previously as a sell zone in this area. Gave back a lot, so for the day, very negative day. Barely holding on to the 21 EMA on the daily. Believe that we've started a move to the downside looking to sell all rallies in this pair eventually looking for weekly targets down towards the 124 125 level maybe support in the 134 level at the weekly 21 EMA moving over to cable we have a classic uh, example of three drives to a bottom perhaps shows up better on the four hour here you go here's your first drive second third and then a very strong rally which if you look at the divergence that we had on the hourly at the last low holding above the previous low of 30 before this rally strength in pound could cap a dollar strength for a while as we're really just having a neutral week although do, uh, now unchanged on the week cable looks like it still may have some upside that could contain dollar strength moving forward which should also set up some type of buying opportunity in yen but as you can see from longer term charts yen is really shaping up quite well here's your daily and on the weekly we've gone right to the 21 EMA to me this looks like a significant low is in place if you're following my videos you know I have intermediate term targets of 87.90.88 which was a flash crash low last May US dollar Swiss still looking relentless but running out of some upside momentum uh, believe that if we have some type of bounce in Euro USD that there may be some type of pullback to get on board on this Aussie also proving itself to the downside failing pretty negative day actually took out the 21 EMA on the daily closing above it but to me, this is looking like a failing rally. I have longer term targets down towards the 95, 94 level. So looking to sell strength there as well. So again, this is Dale Pinker with ForexStopHunters.com. Wishing everyone a good day and a good day of trading and a good week. We'll take a look at what happens over the weekend. Thank you very much for your attention.